Hello and welcome, I am St. James and today we're going to be talking about stats and stat distribution. This video is more for like returning players or players that are brand new to the game. I've noticed in a couple of Discord groups that I've been in, there's been quite a lot of returning players who sort of don't really get the gist of builds, how stats and mods can work in conjunction with each other and what actually governs stat distribution. So I'm just going to go over that. So if you go into the character screen, basically these are your stats on the right hand side and they all have a specific purpose in game as well as three of the stats govern class ability cooldowns so for the hunter you've got mobility for its class for the titan you've got resilience and for the warlock you've got recoverer so this is how fast you'll get your class ability back so we'll just go through each one discuss what they do how you can run them in a build but the main thing about stats in the game is very subjective if you're not somebody who dies a lot or get hit hit quite a lot you might not need as much recovery as somebody else who does get hit a lot. Plus, you may favour a more melee or grenade playstyle. So then obviously you'd go into more of a strength discipline. Or you might be somebody who just likes getting the super really fast. So you'd go obviously into intellect. But you've got to remember some of these stats will become void when you start inputting mods. So if you're using something like Elemental Wells, which we'll cover in the next video, when that Elemental Wells spawns, which matches your subclass, you'll get a temporary increase in your intellect. So this means you'll get a boost to the regeneration of your super. So you've got to take that in consideration when you're actually building a character or building a, a specific build. Just to go over so the stats itself, you've got mobility. This is increasing your run speed, your sprint speed, as well as your maximum jump height and your stray speed left and right. I believe it also does your slide, how far you can actually slide making it obviously very good for like the likes of PvP. Like I said before, it governs the Hunter class ability, your dodge. The next one is your Resilience. This is the amount of DPS you take before dying. Uh, it also is affected by status, so you can break out of status a lot quicker. Generally, I run low Resilience on every single character, regardless if I'm playing Titan or not. Uh, the, it does govern the recharge rate of your barrier on Titan. I normally shoot for about 4 or 5 and playing PvP. If, if not, I'm not really, really bothered about it in PvE. Recoverer. This is sort of a stat that I always recommend to all characters, no matter what. It's because it obviously regens your lost HP. You staying alive is more effective for your team. Staying in more DPS on like the boss. This governs the Warlock class ability as well, your Rift. Next is your Discipline. This is uh, your cooldown of your Grenade. Then your intellect, which is your cooldown of your super. And then lastly is the cooldown of your melee ability. This is the strength stat. So like I said before, it's all based on your build. So if you've gone for something that's more of a, a melee build, maybe you've got melee mods. So maybe you're going with a melee well maker. So powered melee combatants, final blows, spawn elemental wells, matching your subclass. You obviously want to increase the, the amount of strength you've got. Same with the likes of... Uh, elemental ordinance which is defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass you obviously want to go into higher discipline not only that there is stuff that affects your stats directly these are the likes of um, stat increases on your armor itself 10 mod slots on the armor one or more of them slots could be a stat increase so you've got the likes of discipline obviously discipline plus five discipline plus ten same with the strength intellect mobility recovery and resilience there's also stuff in the game that decreases it so if we go to the exo stranger if you hover over the fragments i've not got all of them at the moment on this character but as you can see it's minus 10 in strength on that one plus 10 in strength in that one so you could sort of choose which fragments you want if you were playing status obviously that's for you to decide at the end of the end of the day and what you value more do you value grenade cooldown more your super cooldown more Maybe even your melee ability. So with your stat distribution, it's not just about your actual mod slots. But it's also about the exotics that you wear as well. Some exotics give benefits to recharge rate, regeneration rates. So let's take Verti's Brow for instance. So weapon final blows with a damage type matching your subclass grant death throws. Which provides a grenade damage bonus and grants you grenade energy. This would mean you wouldn't need to go as hard into discipline as you would need to go into other stats. So if we have a look at the stats on the right hand corner, you can see that my discipline's at 46 at the moment. I could actually have like 20 discipline and obviously recharge my grenade a lot faster. Now we looked into stat distribution and we looked at what governs it, which is mainly your mods and your actual armor itself. Obviously it's personal preference. So you need to choose 
what type of build you want and if you want more of a melee, a grenade build, etc. But obviously remember to pair your exotic with that build. So in the next video I'm going to be going on mods, what mods you can actually pair together with each other, such as charge with light mods, elemental well mods. So thank you for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you in episode 2. Bye!